At the moment, we are visiting Tasmania, and right now, I am at the Domain Tennis Center. Ready to have a tennis session with Nick Martin, the coach, and I'm really looking forward to what he thinks I need to improve on. So let's go. I'm happy you joined me on this journey today. I will just share the exercises Nick is doing with me and the instructions he is giving me. And I hope you will learn a lot from it. So listen closely, make notes, and let's make progress together. Oh, and if you are a member of the progression program, you will receive additional information about the session, including my vision, the two weeks in the exercises for higher and lower level oh, yeah, players, and <laughs> what I should have done different uh. than Nick. All right, first things first. Do you do, do you do this to start with? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. What's my biggest bugbear in tennis? Sorry? My biggest bugbear in tennis when I watch all the top juniors Coach. Yeah, the technical focus. They, yeah. They do this exercise, the kids do it to warm up a match. Yeah. What swing do they take? They take a full cut at it. Oh, yeah. What a waste of time. What do you want to do when you make contact with a ball? What should your racket be doing? Good, good, good contact, good. Accelerate. Accelerate. You're accelerating through it. Yeah. But I'm seeing you, big cut, and you're decelerating. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm not going to give you a lesson here, just a rally, one rally shot. I want variety. So you're going to go out there and do this again. I want to see you compact your backswing and accelerate through the ball on both sides. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Shorten it. Get lower. Ah. So when would you use this shot? Short cross court, maybe? Great. So you get a yeah. short ball? So you... Yeah, so you're giving me that short backswing and then... It that windscreen white feel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Left wrist coming up for the backhand, short backswing, angle down the line. Yeah. If someone oh. serves the ball at 200k an hour or 180k yeah. an hour, yeah. have you got time to take a big backswing at no, the ball? No, no, no. So that's where, again, yeah. I, I yeah. love this exercise as a warm up yeah. when it is done yeah. correctly. Also great for timing. In yeah. That way. yeah. Short swing. Short swing, but you're also working that out. Yeah. All right. What I want you to do, I want you to go back to the baseline. I want you to hit juice court to juice court. Why is cross court in singles your bread and butter? It's like longest, longest distance, yeah, and lower. If you uh, can't play this shot in yeah. a game of tennis, yeah. I think game's over. Yeah. Yeah, Let's exactly. go. All right. Baseline. Yeah, play it. Lift it. Good. Great depth. How often you, is, when was the last time you played on hard court? Jen. Right here. Yeah. Just, it looks to me, uh, maybe I've got to give this a bit more time for you to get warmed up and yeah. get used to the timing of the court, yeah. speed of the court. Yeah. Looks like you're decelerating mm, through contact. Yeah. yeah. Looks like you that, kind that's, of, that's actually me a little bit. Yeah. Probably of my theme, I, look, I haven't really looked at your forehand yet, but definitely on your backhand, yeah. you're very much eastern eastern. Mm. Yep. So your, your margin for error, because you're going to hit the ball slightly flatter, because it's an eastern and eastern grip, you're going to come at it a bit more. Mm. You're not going to be able to get that heavy yeah, true. spin onto the ball. Yeah. So you've got to then decide what's your what's your what is your rally ball height over the net? Mm, maybe with backhand this. Yeah. At the max. <laughs> Sometimes. But can I can I just do an exercise on your backhand? Yeah. Just what I want you to do. I'm going to make my baseline bigger. I'm going to put three markers down yeah. behind the baseline, going juice court. And I'm going to give your baseline. You're going to have a bit more margin for error. All right. I oh, want to see yeah. you accelerate through this ball a bit more. Yeah. So this yeah. is going to be in. All yeah? right. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know. Yeah. You yeah, done it before? Good... Yeah. Yep. I want to see you force me back. All right. Yep. Too short. 
Forward, sorry. Yeah. Uh, nice spin, he's got no left wrist. I really like this exercise because as a coach you can make tennis more complex and explain by Forward. detail how the player should move his body. In my opinion, a great coach makes this complex sport more simple. Because the court was longer, I had a margin for error to hit it with more depth, more spin and just to experiment more, which is really valuable when you want to make progress in your game. Great tennis shot! Two little things stand out. When you get a deeper ball that I hit, yeah. you get back and you play a semi open or a ball from back in the court, yeah. you got a beautiful yeah. defensive top spin ball. Yeah. Which is the one that's going to be really, really important? I think the, the balls where I. Just in a neutral yep. situation and... Great call. Yeah. Great call. It's the neutral ball. And it's not every ball. You play a deep ball, yeah. when you hit a ball, deep ball, you get the control, the shape's great. Mm. But it's your neutral stance ball. Yeah. That I need you, and this should be the easiest one, seriously. Is it too, just to get air, lift up. Yeah. Yes. Right, so the feed's going to be, basically, a top spin ball from me to where the service line is. Okay. Yeah. So this is your cue to give me that neutral stance ball forward and then play the rally out. Yeah. That's where I earn my money, by the way. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, got a bit squeezed on that and you also got a bit late on that ball. Mine was deeper. Yeah. So you actually cut the corner with your C. Mm. Yeah. Your court going, oh, yeah, yeah, I won't catch but, up. And that one close to the line, with, that was with more spin, I think that was more in, like in front of me, more yeah. free. So again, I'd probably, again, my motto would be more spin, yeah. fractionally more uh, brushing up the ball, but also just the frame, feeling that position there at contact yeah, exactly. for more of the shots. The first one was good, good angle. Yeah. Yeah. Same ball coming, top spin. Service line feed, neutral stance shot. If I can get over the net, because I decelerated. Yeah, good, good, step. Better. Yes. Movement or technical? I think movement. What, what could you have done? I think it was also a little bit close, like here. Yeah. Of there. So my ball had shape, had height, had depth. Yeah. Could you have given the baseline away a little bit? Yeah. But do you mean like stepping more? Step back. Yeah. That would have allowed you to take your full swing. Yeah. Or the other option was you just shorten the back swing. Yeah. And, and take yeah. it on the right. So you can see the decision making that I want you to put in play here. Two more. Step. Come on, shape. Wow, good shot. For that ball that I no, hit. Oh, it's a lead. Yeah. yeah. Recognize. Yeah. Reaction. Yeah. What creates the depth? What creates the mm. speed? How yeah. long my swing is? How flat I hit it? Yeah? yeah? yeah. Spin. Yeah. Do I have much on it? Mm. That yeah. last one, you try to play a rally ball at the same speed that I hit the... Oh, with the, yeah. the ball that I hit beforehand, hmm. but I changed that up. I went for a change up, quicker ball through the air. Yeah, and I, I didn't adapt. You didn't recognize it. No, I didn't adapt to it, no. Yeah. yeah. So really, I mean, can be really blunt, I probably wouldn't be as full on with it, if I didn't have that going, yeah. with what I'm seeing in your game. Yeah. Because to me, I'm seeing a lot of really good things. Yeah. Seriously, you've got the, the game solid, I mean, I watch a lot of professional tennis players and there's, there's not much difference there. I mean, in fact, I'd say there's a lot, but it's just you reacting, moving, hmm. getting in the right position, working on one or two little things, getting this racket face to there, but also height over the net. Yeah. If you get a short ball, lower, more spin. Yeah. And, and, and it's my, like what you said, the, the cross court is crucial. Yeah. But as long as my back end is not... Um, not Heavy enough or decent enough or solid enough, 
I, I will play to the forehand of my opponent. Yeah. Mostly, most of the time. Well, which is, yeah, which is the problem. Yeah. Because you're playing to the strength, obviously. Yeah. yeah. You're playing to the, to the weapon, basically. Yeah, and actually my, my backhand is solid. No, 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 I'm not, no, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's, it's too flat. Yes. It's, yeah, and, and when it's, when I'm getting nervous, yep. then it's different. Then and and I, can, I, could, I could just imagine you in a game, you'd get, yeah. Yeah. You'd get, oh, I've just got to get, I want to, all right, I'm going to place the ball into a corner. Yeah. And so what do you do? Yeah. You push at it, you decelerate, yeah. and that's the downhill st spiral to okay. oblivion. Okay. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's seriously good. Okay. Coming. It's interesting. Ah. Come again. All right, so I'm seeing shape as your key weapon on your forehand. Yeah. For me, when you're hitting your forehand, yeah. when you put more shape on it, you get yourself through this full C action and you get that racket lifting into that ball. Your, your ball, I mean, it's a hot day. Yeah. Balls are not brand new though. Your ball's up here to my backhand. You've got to use that. Yeah. That's a weapon. So you're getting that ball to jump out of my hitting zone. But when you hit it flatter, yeah, it's, yeah. stays in there or I can give my slice a chance. Anything for me, but I'm a single hander. So it, you know what it means. I mean, single hand has to move more, had to get into a good position to hit. Double hand, it can literally reach up a little bit more. Mm. Yeah, but still. Anything where someone's hitting it up here, right, when you're getting the ball to bounce and jump, is a weapon. So you've got to be aware of that and use that more. That's a strength. So to me, your defensive ball, your rally ball, has to be ripped. But to do that, you have to have racket head speed through that shot. Oh, really good. Oh. Great shape. Kill it. Down the line. Good. Yeah. Great angle. That is gold. Even better. No. No! Impatient! Yeah, you're right. Huh? All right, I'm, I'm gonna give you a technical bit here yeah. that I notice. The rule of thumb with a serve is that if you're in this position here and you come into here and you do this into here, what goes first from this position? And the leg. And? The racket, maybe. Oh, yeah. Um, um, guess yeah. what you do? Yeah, I'm You're here. here. Oh, okay. Maybe with my racket. Yeah, your racket. You okay. have not started to drive up. Uh, and as a result of that, your racket displacement down your back is nowhere near mm. big enough. Uh, Does wait, that... wait. All right, so let me explain. Uh, yeah. So if I'm here like that, I'm into here. This is my serving action, by the way. Okay, yeah. So I'm here like that. Yeah. I want that. Yeah. You are already here. Yeah, yeah. So by there being there, York then coming up, and this racket doesn't get a chance to get yeah. that feel. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So that to me, there's, from me looking at that, I reckon there's 20k now more speed. Mm. Right. Not just from a, not just from a more racket head speed through contact, okay. but longer yeah. displacement down your back. Mm. Longer mm. it goes down there, correctly, I mind you. Yeah. The longer it has to come up, guess what? More speed through the contact. Oh. That would be my... Now, again, I'm, I'm looking at this through my trained eye. Oh, yeah. I would love to video that, and I reckon you'd find, if you look at the video, you'll see that yeah. from yeah. side on. Yeah. I could always ask. Yeah. Come on, look at that. That was better. Yeah. That was better. 
seriously nice. I still think yeah. there's a little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more up I over. I think that the racket was now there. more. Yep. So you had the racket right, it just didn't quite get up to it enough. Up. Uh. Yeah. Uh. I asked him, how do you get that speed into your serve? Yeah. And one of his coaches came up with this concept. Starting in this position and getting that ball at that 11.45, trying to slam it into your side of the court yeah. and trying to get it to hit that on the full. Hmm. Yeah. Try and hit the ball through this alley. Okay. Probably a bit bigger. Anywhere through this singles court, yeah. that area there. Okay. Off. Mm. Make sense? Yeah. Go for it. Have a serve. So that's for creating the angles again. Yep. Yeah. So you're running around your backhand and trying to put me, again, in a game of tennis, my belief is any ball that gets hit from behind the baseline, that goes through the baseline, should always be able to be hit back. Yeah. Any ball that doesn't, I think the player down this end or whoever isn't reacting quick enough and moving quick enough to play the shot. Mm. But if you can pierce the singles lines, they've got to run further yeah. out of Check court. Yeah. Yep. Check. But you want to use your forehand here. I want to see it happen. From uh. Go. Great serving. Actually, some some good serve now. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Not bad. Oh. No. <laughs> well done. And he wins the tournament. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, really nice, man. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks. I yeah, hope it was I really did. informative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, really did. Again, one of the other things, I'll take that off that I love doing, I love rowing, because I think kids and adults, they don't like feeding. Hmm. They want to be out there, they want to play almost a proper game of tennis. Yeah. You, you, and I love drills to get the people to think about hmm. what to do. And that should be the number one thing. There should be a thought going through the person's mind as to what they want to do with the ball. Then they've got to execute it with their movement and their technique hmm. to create that tactical skill. And that's probably my mindset. Hmm. Probably apart from the serve. Yeah. I'm probably a little bit more technical. Let you, yeah, because yeah. it's a free hit. Yeah. It, it, yep. I'll I'd give you that back. Thank you very much, Hugo. Yeah, thank probably you. Probably the only thing I will say now is all right, so we looked at your forehands and backhands, give an overview of it all. So, forehands, backhands, and serves. I gave you a few tactical things to think about. Hmm. All right. I gave you one or two little technical things to think about. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What were they? Um, so, so definitely, uh, maybe it's, this is not technical, but it's within my swing is to accelerate. Yep. Um, to 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 play with more shape, yes. especially on the neutral balls with the backhand. And yes. when I play the forehand, may, sometimes I tend to play low over the net, but yep. create that shape. Yeah. Like the, especially against the one hander, yep. like you just. Play yeah. it deep. Um, a depth, like depth. your your shots. Yep. Um, good example was with the slice. If you slice, I can play slice, yep. but I can also play another you shot. Can play other like, shots. Yep. And the serve, of course. With so the, yeah, probably a little bit more technical in that sense. So yeah. again, if I was, what would I, do? if I was working with you, what would I get you to work on for more power? Acceleration. Oh, for the surf? Yeah. Slow yeah, that's there. slow and 
not holding that racket. Yeah, a little not bit dropping longer. it too yeah. early. Bit. As soon as you drop this racket over your back, yeah. doing that action, mm. that's the point of no return. Yeah. That's yeah. the time to really accelerate up and through. Yeah. It should happen just after your right arm drop, come, start dropping, starts dropping, and your legs start going up to it. Yeah. To me, you're doing that just prior, yeah. which means I think you're losing displacement down your back, more yeah. leverage down the back, but also you're literally going to have to slow down a bit to catch up to that ball hmm. at your highest point. Yeah. And we don't want that. We want you going at your hardest point yeah. just through, yeah. or just before and just through contact. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Wow, guys, thank you for watching this video and this journey is becoming more and more interesting. If you want to join the journey, then make sure to subscribe because I see that a lot of you are not subscribed, but you are watching the videos. And if you are a member of the progression program, I will share my additional thoughts about this session and what you can do yourself to become better as a player or as a coach. If you are not a member yet, then make sure to go to the show notes and start the trial to experience what we can do to improve your game the right way. And thank you to the Domain Tennis Center and Nick Martin for this great session and the possibility to visit this great facility. I will remember this for my life and it will definitely help me to reach my goal to become a UTR 10 player.